Hi, this is David from Tech Stuff at Voice Plus, and today we'll be showing you how to transfer files between your computer and your mobile phone. We'll be using the HTC Desire today, which is an Android system, and, and the computer will be uh, Windows XP. Now, your computer is going to need to be Bluetooth enabled. If not, you can buy one of these little devices, which is a USB, uh, a Bluetooth USB adapter, and just sits in your USB slot. And it gives you gives the capability of wirelessly uh, being able to transmit files between devices via Bluetooth. So once you've installed the USB Bluetooth adapter, it's just a matter of first thing we'll need to set up the phone. And the first thing we'll do, need to do is go into the settings and turn the Bluetooth on. So we're going to settings, go to wireless and networks. Go down to Bluetooth and select, click Bluetooth. Now we'll need to go into Bluetooth settings once you've done that and make your phone discoverable. Otherwise, when the computer goes looking for it, it won't be able to find it unless you tick this. And you can also take note of the name. On this one has got HTC Desire as a name, so that's the name we'll be looking for when we go searching for a device. We'll just go back to the main screen. Now we'll just go to the computer and we'll just select add and the wizard will take us through and now it'll actually start searching for Bluetooth devices within the vicinity of the computer. This will take about 30 seconds or so and once completed it'll list all the Bluetooth devices it has found and as you can see HTC Desire, that's the phone we're looking for so we just select that, hit next now it'll set up a pass key which basically sets a password up so you're making sure you're picking up the right phone. So I'll just choose my pass key and I'll put one, two, three, four and hit next. Now it sent this pass key to the phone. So if you go back to notification, you'll see a pairing request. So we'll just select on that. It'll ask me to enter in the pass key which I just entered in the computer. So we just go one, two, three, four, and select OK. And now, as you can see on the computer, it's accepted it, and now we're, the phone has been paired. And as you can see there, we can see the HTC desires on screen. Now, just to, we'll just pick a file to pick, and I'll just use a picture here. We'll use Sunset. All it is a matter of right-clicking on it, hitting Send To. We'll select Bluetooth device. As you can see, it's, it's got Bluetooth HTC Desire there. If not, you can just go for a browse. and It'll actually go and search for a Bluetooth device again. You may have paired up a, a, a couple of phones. So this will actually list all the phones in the vicinity again. As you can see, the device is there. So we just hit H, HTC Desire and click OK. Then it's just hitting Next. Now on the phone itself, it'll be coming up in notifications. As you can see at the top of the screen, it, there's just a quick flash there saying you've got a notification. You have to go into the settings for notifications and you'll say authorization request. We just click on, it's ask, a computer is asking permission to contact you, you said accept. Then you have to go into notification again and it's saying there's an incoming file now to accept. So we just click on that and hit accept. And as you can see on screen, it's transferred across. And to find the file, it'll be sitting on the SD card on your phone under downloads slash Bluetooth. If you don't have an explorer or a file explorer on your phone, you can just go to the marketplace and download one. I've just downloaded one called Explorer. And if I click on that, you can see under Downloads, under Bluetooth, we can see the Sunset JPG, which I just transferred across. This is David from Tech Stuff at Voice Plus.